I've spent hours and hours on this bolt trying to get it to go through. Will it go through? No, it won't. Welcome back to Johnny's XJ. When I was a young boy, a school teacher changed my life forever. When he brought it to school, a moped engine and put it into the workshop vice and then started it up with a piece of rope and the smell and the sound changed my life forever. Right then, I've come up with an idea. Get a box spanner, which is about the same size. Put it underneath, because it looks like this on the other side. So, look at this from the other side. Say that's the other side. Put this underneath, so it's resting on the floor. So it's got some support on the bracket. I think I have actually bent the bracket. So, last resort. Let's try that. Let's get it in position. doesn't appear to be doing anything. We try and get a bit of support on the bottom. It's an impossible task. Fallen at the last hurdle, haven't we? Okay, so I don't know if you can see down there that bush with the mole grips on. That is where the bolt is jammed. And as you probably can see, I might have bent that bloody bracket a bit. I don't look like I'm on it very well at all, do I? Oh, I don't know. So that's what I want to try and do. Turn the nut so it frees inside there. I've been doing that with the old suspension mount thing that's been going round with it. So that's obviously where it's seized. So that's my only hope. Wish me luck. Okay, so I've finally got the bolt to actually turn inside the bush mount or whatever you want to call it. As you can see, I have pretty much damaged it. It looks bent to me. So, what I'll have to try and do now is Go round the other side, tip the bike back over, whack fuck out of the bolt with an hammer and chisel, and then come back to this side and try and turn the socket again. And keep doing that and hopefully it'll come out. When I get it through so far I'll have to knock it back through again and get the Dremel, I borrowed a Dremel off somebody, and uh, take all the chamfer off the bolt, otherwise it will never go through. I'll show you what I mean in a bit. 
let's get this baby to bed. Needs to come in out. This engine needs coming out now. People say, oh, it's too cold to go into your shed. Well, I am absolutely sweating my off. Roy. Okay, a couple of hours of that and it's still not working. So, I'm going to take the triple trees off and turn the bike upside down. Hopefully I can see what's going on with the bike upside down. Just had it upside down but it's not balancing because that's sticking out. So if I take that off it might balance a bit better on here. And I can uh, walk around it while it's upside down without it falling over and killing something. So let's get these triple trees off. I've slackened everything off so it should come off easy enough. Three. Four. It's a trusty ball bearings, is it? Six. Seven. Eight. Put everything back as it was. And put it out of the way for a while. Turn this baby back upside down. Hopefully it will balance this time. Okay, so I've got it on my trusty axle stands. This is the bolt. What is being a pain in the arse? I have noticed that there's these two. That one's right inside now. It's like two little clips. Spot welded onto it. I don't know if it's something to do with them or what. But let's investigate. Okay, so that is one of them off. You can see that. That's one of them off. You actually, uh, see where the welds were. Grind them off with the Dremel. Now I've just got to try and get to that one. Which might be the root of my problem. I hope it is. And I can get it off. So let's try and chisel this bolt back through and get to the other one. I don't know if you can actually see what's going off but here goes. I'm using this uh, ball joint breaker so I can use one point on the nut. If I use the chisel on the nut, it will just make the nut up, won't it? So I'm using that in the middle of the nut. Well, middle of the bolt nut, you know what I mean. You can see, I don't know if you can see through there, but I can't get a better angle. Coming to a stalemate. Try and get a cutter in there and cut it out, but if I did that, <laughs> I might never get it out. If it's stuck, then there's no rock to hit on it, is there? Oh, I don't know.
almost hit the windy now, aren't they? Bloody storm coming. And what I've actually done is tried to grind the little spot weld off. There's two of them, so now I've got to do the other side. To my bit, it's all gone. Well, it's not one, though. it that much, can't get the fucking socket on it now. Now I'm going to have to get the Dremel on the nut so I can get the socket on. Thank God for people who borrow you Dremels. the other one off. Surprised, I'm surprised. I'm surprised I haven't broke anything yet. Bloody amount of whacking I've done on it. I'm pretty sure I've bent this mount. I don't think that's going to be the end of the world, is it? I don't know if you can see that, but I'll just get it a few more whacks from that side. And everything I have just done was a waste of time because, as you can see, that is just trying to push out. Which means this is a sleeve, a spacer. And that is what is corroded onto the bolt. That is why I cannot get it off, because this big long spacer is corroded to the bolt. Oh God. So what do you do about that? Um, could drill holes into it I suppose. Try and get the penetrating fluid in it that way. I don't know, let me think about it. Okay, so I've got two pair of roll grips on the spacer. I know they're crushing the spacer and they're probably crushing it onto the bolt. But what of a choice have I got? Now I'm going to try and twist the bolt and hopefully it will move inside the spacer. Oh, please work. I beg you. Gosh, many times. It is many times. Maybe someone's going to snap. Please don't say you're going to snap my ratchet. Let me try the bar on it. <laughs> oh, right, okay, that's failed miserably. I think I'm just twisting the bolt and it's going to snap any second. So what I'm going to have to do is order some cutting bits for the Dremel try and cut all the way down the bloody spacer. I'll see if that does any good. So, hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. See you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe.
Come on, you've got to subscribe to this, haven't you? Why are you doing this to me? I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to make you live again. But all you do is fight me. All the way. All I want is to help you. And you just fight me. Please help me. Help me to help you. And you can go through the country lanes in the sunshine once more. All I ask is that you help me and stop fighting me. Please. I'll see you in another life, brother.